Hawaii, Wikipedia Audio. Coordinates, 21 degree 1841, and 157 degree 4747, W. Slash, 21.31139 degrees north 157.79639 degrees west. Slash 21.31139, 157.79639. Hawaii I. I slash, Hawaiian, Hawaii. I is the 50th and most recent state to have joined the United States of America, having received statehood on August 21, 1959. Hawaii is the only U.S. state located in Oceania and the only one composed entirely of islands. It is the northernmost island group in Polynesia, occupying most of an archipelago in the central Pacific Ocean. Hawaii is the only U.S. state located outside North America. The state encompasses nearly the entire volcanic Hawaiian archipelago which comprises hundreds of islands spread over 1,500 miles. At the southeastern end of the archipelago, the eight main islands are in order from northwest to southeast, N.I. Iho, Koa, I, O, Ahu, Maloka, I, Lana, I, Keho, Olae, Maui, and the island of Hawaii? I. The last is the largest island in the group, it is often called the Big Island or Hawaii. I island to avoid confusion with the state or archipelago. The archipelago is physiographically and ethnologically part of the Polynesian subregion of Oceania. Etymology Hawaii's diverse natural scenery warm tropical climate, abundance of public beaches, oceanic surroundings, and active volcanoes make it a popular destination for tourists, surfers, biologists, and volcanologists. Because of its central location in the Pacific and 19th century labor migration, Hawaii's culture is strongly influenced by North American and Asian cultures, in addition to its indigenous Hawaiian culture. Hawaii has over a million permanent residents, along with many visitors and U.S. military personnel. Its capital is Honolulu on the island of O'ahu. Hawaii is the eighth smallest and the eleventh least populous, but the thirteenth most densely populated of the fifty U.S. states. It is the only state with an Asian plurality. The state's coastline is about 750 miles long, the fourth longest in the U.S. after the coastlines of Alaska, Florida, and California. The Island of Hawaii I has state parks, recreation areas, and historical parks, Koa. I has the Ahukini State Recreation Pier six state parks, and the Russian Fort Elizabeth State Historical Park, Maui has two state monuments, several state parks, and the Poli Poli Spring State Recreation Area. Malake has the Palao State Park, O. Ahu has several state parks, a number of state recreation areas, and a number of monuments, including the Ulu Poheao State Monument. The state of Hawaii derives its name from the name of its largest island, Hawaii. I. A common Hawaiian explanation of the name of Hawaii. I is that was named for Hawaii. Elo, a legendary figure from Hawaiian myth. He is said to have discovered the islands when they were first settled. The Hawaiian language word Hawaii. I is very similar to Proto-Polynesian asterisk Sawaiki, with the reconstructed meaning homeland. Cognates of Hawaii I are found in other Polynesian languages, including Maori, Rarotongan and Samoan.
According to linguists Pyokoi and Albert, elsewhere in Polynesia, Hawaii, Iora Cognate is the name of the underworld or of the ancestral home, but in Hawaii, the name has no meaning. A somewhat divisive political issue arose in 1978 when the constitution of the state of Hawaii added Hawaiian as a second official state language. The title of the state constitution is the Constitution of the State of Hawaii. Article 15, Section 1 of the Constitution uses the State of Hawaii. Diacritics were not used because the document, drafted in 1949, predates the use of the Okina and the Kahako in modern Hawaiian orthography. The exact spelling of the state's name in the Hawaiian language is Hawaii. I. In the Hawaii Admission Act that granted Hawaiian statehood, the federal government recognized Hawaii as the official state name. Official government publications, department, and office titles, and the seal of Hawaii use the traditional spelling with no symbols for glottal stops or vowel length. In contrast, the National and State Parks Services, the University of Hawaii, I and some private enterprises implement these symbols. No precedent for changes to U.S. state names exists since the adoption of the United States Constitution in 1789. However, the Constitution of Massachusetts formally changed the province of Massachusetts Bay to the Commonwealth of Massachusetts in 1780 and in 1819, the territory of Arkansas was created but was later admitted to statehood as the state of Arkansas. There are eight main Hawaiian islands, seven of which are permanently inhabited. The island of N.I. Iho is privately managed by brothers Bruce and Keith Robinson, access is restricted to those who have permission from the island's owners. Access to uninhabited Keho, Olaue Island is also restricted. Hawaii from Space, January 26, 2014 N.A. Pali Coast State Park, Koa, I The main islands and undersea terrain of Hawaii Spelling of state name The main islands the Hawaiian Archipelago, Main Islands, the Northwest Hawaiian Islands, and Midway Atoll. The Hawaiian Archipelago is located 2,000 miles southwest of the contiguous United States. Hawaii is the southernmost U.S. state and the second westernmost after Alaska. Hawaii, along with Alaska, does not border any other U.S. state. It is the only U.S. state that is not geographically located in North America, the only state completely surrounded by water and that is entirely an archipelago, and the only state in which coffee is commercially cultivable. In addition to the eight main islands, the state has many smaller islands and islets. Ka Eula is a small island near N.I. Iho. The Northwest Hawaiian Islands is a group of nine small, older islands to the northwest of Koa. I that extend from Nihoa to Kure Atoll, these are remnants of once much larger volcanic mountains. Across the archipelago are around 130 small rocks and islets, such as Malakini, which are either volcanic, marine sedimentary, or erosional in origin. Hawaii's tallest mountain Mauna Kea is 13,796 feet above mean sea level, it is taller than Mount Everest if measured from the base of the mountain, which lies on the floor of the Pacific Ocean and rises about 33,500 feet. The Hawaiian Islands were formed by volcanic activity initiated at an undersea magma source called the Hawaii Hotspot. The process is continuing to build islands, the tectonic plate beneath much of the Pacific Ocean continually moves northwest and the hot spot remains stationary, 
slowly creating new volcanoes. Because of the hot spots location, all currently active land volcanoes are located on the southern half of Hawaii Island. The newest volcano, Lo IHIC Mount, is located south of the coast of Hawaii Island. The last volcanic eruption outside Hawaii Island occurred at Haleakala on Maui before the late 18th century, possibly hundreds of years earlier. In 1790, Kilauea exploded, it was the deadliest eruption known to have occurred in the modern era in what is now the United States. Up to 5,405 warriors and their families marching on Kilauea were killed by the eruption. Volcanic activity and subsequent erosion have created impressive geological features. Hawaii Island has the third highest point among the world's islands. Geography and Environment Topography On the flanks of the volcanoes, slope instability has generated damaging earthquakes and related tsunamis, particularly in 1868 and 1975. Steep cliffs have been created by catastrophic debris avalanches on the submerged flanks of ocean island volcanoes. Geology Flora and Fauna Protected Areas Climate History Because the islands of Hawaii are distant from other land habitats, Life is thought to have arrived there by wind, waves, and wings. This isolation, in combination with the diverse environment, produced an array of endemic flora and fauna. Hawaii has more endangered species and has lost a higher percentage of its endemic species than any other U.S. state. One endemic plant, Bryamia now requires hand pollination because its natural pollinator is presumed to be extinct. The two species of Bryamia b. rockii and b. insignis are represented in the wild by around 120 individual plants. To ensure these plants set seed, biologists rappel down 3,000-foot cliffs to brush pollen onto their stigmas. The extant main islands of the archipelago have been above the surface of the ocean for fewer than 10 million years, a fraction of the time biological colonization and evolution have occurred there. The islands are well known for the environmental diversity that occurs on high mountains within a trade wines field. On a single island, the climate around the coasts can range from dry tropical to wet tropical, on the slopes, Environments range from tropical rainforest, through a temperate climate, to alpine conditions with a cold, dry climate. The rainy climate impacts soil development, which largely determines ground permeability, affecting the distribution of streams and wetlands. Several areas in Hawaii are under the protection of the National Park Service. Hawaii has two national parks, Haleakala National Park located near Kula on the island of Maui, which features the dormant volcano Haleakala that formed East Maui, and Hawaii Volcanoes National Park in the southeast region of the Hawaii Island, which includes the active volcano Kilauea and its rift zones. First Human Settlement Ancient Hawaii I. There are three national historical parks, Kalaupapa National Historical Park in Kalaupapa, Maloka. I, the site of a former leper colony, Kalokohonokoha National Historical Park in Kailuakona on Hawaii. I Island, and P.U. Uhanua Ohonau Now National Historical Park, an ancient place of refuge on Hawaii. I Islands West Coast Other areas under the control of the National Park Service include Ala Kahakai National Historic Trail on Hawaii. 
I Island and the USS Arizona Memorial at Pearl Harbor on O. Ahu. The Papahanaumokuakea Marine National Monument was proclaimed by President George W. Bush on June 15, 2006. The monument covers roughly 140,000 square miles of reefs, atolls, and shallow and deep sea out to 50 miles offshore in the Pacific Ocean an area larger than all of the national parks in the U.S. combined. Hawaii's climate is typical for the tropics, although temperatures and humidity tend to be less extreme because of near-constant trade winds from the east. Summer highs usually reach around 88 degrees Fahrenheit during the day, with the temperature reaching a low of 75 degrees Fahrenheit at night. Winter day temperatures are usually around 83 degrees F, at low elevation they seldom dip below 65 degrees Fahrenheit at night. Snow, not usually associated with the tropics, falls at 13,800 feet on Mauna Kea and Mauna Loa on Hawaii Island in some winter months. Snow rarely falls on Haleakala. Mount Wei Ale Ale on Koa I has the second highest average annual rainfall on Earth, about 460 inches per year. Most of Hawaii experiences only two seasons, the dry season runs from May to October and the wet season is from October to April. The warmest temperature recorded in the state, in Pahala on April 27, 1931, is 100 degrees Fahrenheit making it tied with Alaska as the lowest record high temperature observed in a U.S. state. Hawaii's record low temperature is 12 degrees Fahrenheit observed in May 1979, on the summit of Mauna Kea. Hawaii is the only state to have never recorded sub-zero Fahrenheit temperatures. Climates vary considerably on each island. They can be divided into windward and leeward areas based upon location relative to the higher mountains. Windward sides face cloud cover. Hawaii is one of four U.S. states apart from the original 13, along with the Vermont Republic, the Republic of Texas, and the California Republic that were independent nations prior to statehood. Along with Texas, Hawaii had formal international diplomatic recognition as a nation. The Kingdom of Hawaii I was sovereign from 1810 until 1893 when the monarchy was overthrown by resident American and European capitalists and landholders. Hawaii was an independent republic from 1894 until August 12, 1898 when it officially became a territory of the United States. Hawaii was admitted as a U.S. state on August 21, 1959. European Arrival Based on archaeological evidence, the earliest habitation of the Hawaiian Islands dates to around 300 CE, probably by Polynesian settlers from the Marquesas Islands. A second wave of migration from Rayatea and Bora Bora took place in the 11th century. The date of the human discovery and habitation of the Hawaiian Islands is the subject of academic debate. Some archaeologists and historians think it was a later wave of immigrants from Tahiti around 1000 CE who introduced a new line of high chiefs, the Kapu system, the practice of human sacrifice and the building of Heiau. This later immigration is detailed in Hawaiian mythology about Pa. Ao. Other authors say there is no archaeological or linguistic evidence for a later influx of Tahitian settlers and that Pa. Ao must be regarded as a myth. The history of the islands is marked by a slow, steady growth in population and the size of the chiefdoms which grew to encompass whole islands. Local chiefs, called Ali, I, 
ruled their settlements, and launched wars to extend their influence and defend their communities from predatory rivals. Ancient Hawaii was a caste-based society, much like that of Hindus in India. Kingdom of Hawaii, I It is possible that Spanish explorers arrived in the Hawaiian Islands in the 16th century 200 years before Captain James Cook's first documented visit in 1778. Rui Lopez de Villalobos commanded a fleet of six ships that left Acapulco in 1542 bound for the Philippines with a Spanish sailor named Juan Gaetano aboard as pilot. Depending on the interpretation, Gaetano's reports describe an encounter with either Hawaii I or the Marshall Islands. If de Villalobos' crew spotted Hawaii I, Gaetano would be considered the first European to see the islands. Some scholars have dismissed these claims due to a lack of credibility. Spanish archives contain a chart that depicts islands at the same latitude as Hawaii, I but with a longitude 10 degrees east of the islands. In this manuscript, the island of Maui is named La Disgratiata, and what appears to be Hawaii. I Island is named La Mesa. Islands resembling Kahoalawe, Lanai, and Molokai are named Los Monjas. For two and a half centuries, Spanish galleons crossed the Pacific from Mexico along a route that passed south of Hawaii, I on their way to Manila. The exact route was kept secret to protect the Spanish trade monopoly against competing powers. House of Kamehameha 1887 Constitution and Overthrow Preparations Overthrow of 1893 The Republic of Hawaii The 1778 arrival of British explorer James Cook was the first documented contact by a European explorer with Hawaii. Cook named the archipelago as the Sandwich Islands in honor of his sponsor John Montague, 4th Earl of Sandwich. Cook published the island's location and rendered the native name as Oahe. This spelling lives on in Oahe County, Idaho. It was named after three native Hawaiian members of a trapping party who went missing in that area. The Oahe Mountains were also named for them. Cook visited the Hawaiian Islands twice. As he prepared for departure after his second visit in 1779, a quarrel ensued as Cook took temple idols and fencing as firewood, and a minor chief and his men took a ship's boat. Cook abducted the king of Hawaii, I Island, Kalani, Opu, U and held him for ransom aboard his ship in order to gain return of Cook's boat. This tactic had worked in Tahiti and other islands. Instead, Kalani, Opu, U's supporters fought back, killing Cook and four marines as Cook's party retreated along the beach to their ship. They departed without the ship's boat. After Cook's visit and the publication of several books relating his voyages, the Hawaiian Islands attracted many European visitors, explorers, traders, and eventually whalers, who found the islands to be a convenient harbor and source of supplies. Early British influence can be seen in the design of the flag of Hawaii, I, which bears the Union Jack in the top left corner. These visitors introduced diseases to the once isolated islands, causing the Hawaiian population to drop precipitously. Native Hawaiians had no resistance to Eurasian diseases, such as influenza, smallpox, and measles. By 1820, disease, famine and wars between the chiefs killed more than half of the native Hawaiian population. During the 1850s, measles killed a fifth of Hawaii's people. 
historical records indicated the earliest Chinese immigrants to Hawaii originated from Guangdong Province. A few sailors arrived in 1778 with Captain Cook's journey and more arrived in 1789 with an American trader, who settled in Hawaii in the late 18th century. It appears that leprosy was introduced by Chinese workers by 1830, as with the other new infectious diseases, it proved damaging to the Hawaiians. During the 1780s, and 1790s, chiefs often fought for power. After a series of battles that ended in 1795, all inhabited islands were subjugated under a single ruler, who became known as King Kamehameha the Great. He established the House of Kamehameha, a dynasty that ruled the kingdom until 1872. After Kamehameha II inherited the throne in 1819, American Protestant missionaries to Hawaii converted many Hawaiians to Christianity. They used their influence to end many traditional practices of the people. During the reign of King Kamehameha III, Hawaii turned into a Christian monarchy with the signing of the 1840 Constitution. Hiram Binghamai, a prominent Protestant missionary, was a trusted advisor to the monarchy during this period. Other missionaries and their descendants became active in commercial and political affairs, leading to conflicts between the monarchy and its restive American subjects. Catholic and Mormon missionaries were also active in the kingdom, but they converted a minority of the native Hawaiian population. Missionaries from each major group administered to the leper colony at Kalaupapa on Maloka, I, which was established in 1866 and operated well into the 20th century. The best known were Father Damien and Mother Mary Ann Cope, both of whom were canonized in the early 21st century as Roman Catholic saints. The death of the bachelor king Kamehameha V who did not name an heir resulted in the popular election of Lunalilo over Kalakawa. Lunalilo died the next year, also without naming an heir. In 1874, the election was contested within the legislature between Kalakawa and Emma, queen consort of Kamehameha IV. After riots broke out, the United States and Britain landed troops on the islands to restore order. King Kalakawa was chosen as monarch by the Legislative Assembly by a vote of 39 to 6 on February 12, 1874. In 1887, Kalakawa was forced to sign the 1887 Constitution of the Kingdom of Hawaii. Drafted by white businessmen and lawyers, the document stripped the king of much of his authority. It established a property qualification for voting that effectively disenfranchised most Hawaiians and immigrant laborers and favored the wealthier, white elite. Resident whites were allowed to vote but resident Asians were not. As the 1887 Constitution was signed under threat of violence, it is known as the Bayonet Constitution. King Kalakawa, reduced to a figurehead, reigned until his death in 1891. His sister, Queen Lily Uakalani, succeeded him, she was the last monarch of Hawaii. I. In 1893, Queen Lily Uakalani announced plans for a new constitution to proclaim herself an absolute monarch. On January 14, 1893, a group of mostly Euro-American business leaders and residents formed the Committee of Safety to stage a coup d'état against the kingdom and seek annexation by the United States. United States Government Minister John L. Stevens Responding to a request from the Committee of Safety, summoned a company of U.S. Marines. 
the Queen's soldiers did not resist. According to historian William Russ, the monarchy was unable to protect itself. In January 1893, Queen Lily Uakalani was overthrown and replaced by a provisional government composed of members of the Committee of Safety. Lawyer Sanford B. Dole, a citizen of Hawaii, became President of the Republic when the Provisional Government of Hawaii ended on July 4, 1894. Controversy ensued in the following years as the Queen tried to regain her throne. The administration of President Grover Cleveland commissioned the Blount Report, which concluded that the removal of Lily Uakalani had been illegal. The U.S. government first demanded that Queen Lily Uakalani be reinstated, but the provisional government refused. Congress conducted an independent investigation, and on February 26, 1894, submitted the Morgan Report, which found all parties, including Minister Stevens with the exception of the Queen not guilty and not responsible for the coup. Partisans on both sides of the debate questioned the accuracy and impartiality of both the Blount and Morgan reports over the events of 1893. In 1993, the U.S. Congress passed a joint apology resolution regarding the overthrow, it was signed by President Bill Clinton. The resolution did not apologize and did not say the overthrow was illegal. It acknowledges that the overthrow of the Kingdom of Hawaii occurred with the active participation of agents and citizens of the United States and further acknowledges that the native Hawaiian people never directly relinquished to the United States their claims to their inherent sovereignty as a people over their national lands, either through the Kingdom of Hawaii or through a plebiscite or referendum. After William McKinley won the 1896 U.S. presidential election, advocates pressed to annex the Republic of Hawaii. The previous president, Grover Cleveland, was a friend of Queen Lily, Uakalani. McKinley was open to persuasion by U.S. expansionists and by annexationists from Hawaii. I. He met with three annexationists, Lauren A. Thurston, Francis March Hatch and William Ansel Kinney. After negotiations in June 1897, Secretary of State John Sherman agreed to a treaty of annexation with these representatives of the Republic of Hawaii. The U.S. Senate never ratified the treaty. Despite the opposition of most native Hawaiians, the Newlands Resolution was used to annex the Republic to the U.S., it became the territory of Hawaii. The Newlands Resolution was passed by the House on June 15, 1898, by 209 votes in favor to 91 against, and by the Senate on July 6, 1898, by a vote of 42 to 21. In 1900, Hawaii was granted self-governance and retained Iolani Palace as the territorial capital building. Despite several attempts to become a state, Hawaii remained a territory for 60 years. Plantation owners and capitalists, who maintained control through financial institutions such as the Big Five, found territorial status convenient because they remained able to import cheap foreign labor. Such immigration and labor practices were prohibited in many states. Puerto Rican immigration to Hawaii began in 1899, when Puerto Rico's sugar industry was devastated by two hurricanes, causing a worldwide shortage of sugar and a huge demand for sugar from Hawaii. Hawaiian sugarcane plantation owners began to recruit experienced, unemployed laborers in Puerto Rico. Two waves of Korean immigration to Hawaii occurred in the 20th century. The first wave arrived between 1903 and 1924, 
the second wave began in 1965 after President Lyndon B. Johnson signed the Immigration and Nationality Act of 1965, which removed racial and national barriers and resulted in significantly altering the demographic mix in the U.S. Oh. Ahu was the target of a surprise attack on Pearl Harbor by Imperial Japan on December 7, 1941. The attack on Pearl Harbor and other military and naval installations, carried out by aircraft and by midget submarines, brought the United States into World War II. In the 1950s, the power of the plantation owners was broken by the descendants of immigrant laborers who were born in Hawaii and were U.S. citizens. They voted against the Hawaii Republican Party, strongly supported by plantation owners. The new majority voted for the Democratic Party of Hawaii, which dominated territorial and state politics for more than 40 years. Eager to gain full representation in Congress and the Electoral College, residents actively campaigned for statehood. In Washington there was talk that Hawaii would be a Republican Party stronghold so it was matched with the admission of Alaska, seen as a Democratic Party stronghold. These predictions turned out to be inaccurate, today, Hawaii votes Democratic predominantly, while Alaska votes Republican. In March 1959, Congress passed the Hawaii Admission Act which U.S. President Dwight D. Eisenhower signed into law. The act excluded Palmyra at all from statehood, it had been part of the kingdom and territory of Hawaii. On June 27, 1959, a referendum asked residents of Hawaii to vote on the statehood bill, 94.3% voted in favor of statehood and 5.7% opposed it. The referendum asked voters to choose between accepting the act and remaining a U.S. territory. The United Nations Special Committee on Decolonization later removed Hawaii from its list of non-self-governing territories. After attaining statehood, Hawaii quickly modernized through construction and a rapidly growing tourism economy. Later, state programs promoted Hawaiian culture. The Hawaii State Constitutional Convention of 1978 created institutions such as the Office of Hawaiian Affairs to promote indigenous language and culture. After Europeans and mainland Americans first arrived during the Kingdom of Hawaii period, the overall population of Hawaii, until that time composed solely of indigenous Hawaiians, fell dramatically. The indigenous Hawaiian population succumbed to foreign diseases, declining from 300,000 in the 1770s, to 60,000 in the 1850s, to 24,000 in 1920. The population of Hawaii began to finally increase after an influx of primarily Asian settlers that arrived as migrant laborers at the end of the 19th century. The unmixed indigenous Hawaiian population has still not restored itself to its 300,000 pre-contact level. As of 2010, only 156,000 persons declared themselves to be of native Hawaiian-only ancestry, just over half of the pre-contact level native Hawaiian population although an additional 371,000 persons declared themselves to possess native Hawaiian ancestry in combination with one or more other races. The United States Census Bureau estimates the population of Hawaii was 1,431,603 on July 1, 2015 an increase of 5.2% since the 2010 United States Census. As of 2014, Hawaii had an estimated population of 1,431,603, an increase of 12,042 from the previous year and an increase of 71,302 since 2010. 
This includes a natural increase of 48,111 and an increase due to net migration of 16,956 people into the state. Immigration from outside the United States resulted in a net increase of 30,068, migration within the country produced a net loss of 13,112 people. The center of population of Hawaii is located between the two islands of Oahu and Malake. Large numbers of native Hawaiians have moved to Las Vegas, which has been called the Ninth Island of Hawaii. Hawaii has a de facto population of over 1.4 million, due in part to a large number of military personnel and tourist residents. Oahu is the most populous island. It has the highest population density with a resident population of just under 1,597,000 square miles, approximately 1,650 people per square mile. Hawaii's 1.4 million residents, spread across 6,000 square miles of land, result in an average population density of 188.6 persons per square mile. The state has a lower population density than Ohio and Illinois. The average projected lifespan of people born in Hawaii in 2000 is 79.8 years, 77.1 years if male, 82.5 if female longer than the average lifespan of any other U.S. state. As of 2011 the U.S. military reported it had 42,371 personnel on the islands. According to the 2010 United States Census, Hawaii had a population of 1,360,301. The state's population identified as 38.6% Asian, 24.7% White, 23.6% from two or more races, 10.0% Native Hawaiians and other Pacific Islanders, 8.9% Hispanics and Latinos of any race, 1.6% Black or African American, 1.2% from some other race, and 0.3% Native American and Alaska Native. Hawaii has the highest percentage of Asian Americans and multiracial Americans and the lowest percentage of white Americans of any state. It is the only state where Asian Americans identify as the largest ethnic group. In 2011, 14.5% of births were to white, non-Hispanic parents. Hawaii's Asian population consists mainly of 198,000 Filipino Americans, 185,000 Japanese Americans, roughly 55,000 Chinese Americans, and 24,000 Korean Americans. There are over 80,000 indigenous Hawaiians 5.9% of the population, including those with partial ancestry. Samoan Americans constitute 2.8% of Hawaii's population, and Tongan Americans constitute 0.6%. Over 120,000 Hispanic and Latino Americans live in Hawaii. Mexican Americans number over 35,000, Puerto Ricans exceed 44,000. Multiracial Americans constitute almost 25% of Hawaii's population, exceeding 320,000 people. Eurasian Americans are a prominent mixed-race group, numbering about 66,000. The non-Hispanic white population numbers around 310,000 just over 20% of the population. The multiracial population outnumbers the non-Hispanic white population by about 10,000 people. In 1970, the Census Bureau reported Hawaii's population was 38.8% white and 57.7% Asian and Pacific Islander. The five largest European ancestries in Hawaii are German, Irish, 
English, Portuguese and Italian. About 82.2% of the state's residents were born in the United States. Roughly 75% of foreign-born residents originate in Asia. Hawaii is a majority-minority state. It was expected to be one of three states that will not have a non-Hispanic white plurality in 2014, the other two are California and New Mexico. The third group of foreigners to arrive in Hawaii were from China. Chinese workers on western trading ships settled in Hawaii starting in 1789. In 1820, the first American missionaries arrived to preach Christianity and teach the Hawaiians western ways. As of 2015, a large proportion of Hawaii's population have Asian ancestry especially Filipino, Japanese and Chinese. Many are descendants of immigrants brought to work on the sugarcane plantations in the mid to late 19th century. The first 153 Japanese immigrants arrived in Hawaii on June 19, 1868. They were not approved by the then current Japanese government because the contract was between a broker and the Tokugawa shogunate by then replaced by the Meiji Restoration. The first Japanese current government-approved immigrants arrived on February 9, 1885, after Kalakawa's petition to Emperor Meiji when Kalakawa visited Japan in 1881. Almost 13,000 Portuguese migrants had arrived by 1899, they also worked on the sugarcane plantations. By 1901, over 5,000 Puerto Ricans were living in Hawaii. English and Hawaiian are listed as Hawaii's official languages in the state's 1978 constitution, in Article 15, Section 4. However, the use of Hawaiian is limited because the constitution specifies that Hawaiian shall be required for public acts and transactions only as provided by law. Hawaii? I Creole English, locally referred to as Pidgin, is the native language of many native residents and is a second language for many others. As of the 2000 census, 73.4% of Hawaii residents aged 5 and older exclusively speak English at home. According to the 2008 American Community Survey, 74.6% of Hawaii's residents over the age of 5 speak only English at home. In their homes, 21.0% of state residents speak an additional Asian language, 2.6% speak Spanish, 1.6% speak other Indo-European languages and 0.2% speak another language. After English other languages popularly spoken in the state are Tagalog, Japanese and Ilocano. Significant numbers of European immigrants and their descendants also speak their native languages, the most numerous are German, Portuguese, Italian and French. 5.4% of residents speak Tagalog which includes non-native speakers of Filipino language, the national, CO official, Tagalog-based language, 5.0% speak Japanese and 4.0% speak Ilocano, 1.2% speak Chinese, 1.7% speak Hawaiian, 1.7% speak Spanish, 1.6% speak Korean, and 1.0% speak Samoan. The keyboard layout used for Hawaiian is QWERTY. The Hawaiian language has about 2,000 native speakers, about 0.15% of the total population. According to the United States Census, there were over 24,000 total speakers of the language in Hawaii in 2006-2008. Hawaiian is a Polynesian member of the Austronesian language family. It is closely related to other Polynesian languages 
such as Marquesan, Tahitian, Maori, Rapa Nui, and less closely to Samoan and Tongan. According to Schutz, the Marksans colonized the archipelago in roughly 300 CE and were later followed by waves of seafarers from the Society Islands, Samoa, and Tonga. Annexation The Territory of Hawaii These Polynesians remained in the islands, they eventually became the Hawaiian people and their languages evolved into the Hawaiian language. Kimura and Wilson say, Linguists agree that Hawaiian is closely related to Eastern Polynesian, with a particularly strong link in the southern Marquesas, and a secondary link in Tahiti, which may be explained by voyaging between the Hawaiian and Society Islands. Before the arrival of Captain James Cook, the Hawaiian language had no written form. That form was developed mainly by American Protestant missionaries between 1820 and 1826. They assigned to the Hawaiian phonemes letters from the Latin alphabet. Interest in Hawaiian increased significantly in the late 20th century. With the help of the Office of Hawaiian Affairs, Specially designated immersion schools in which all subjects would be taught in Hawaiian were established. The University of Hawaii developed a Hawaiian language graduate studies program. Municipal codes were altered to favor Hawaiian place and street names for new civic developments. Hawaii Sign Language, a sign language for the deaf based on the Hawaiian language, has been in use in the islands since the early 1800s. It is dwindling in numbers due to American Sign Language supplanting HSL through schooling and various other domains. Hawaiian distinguishes between long and short vowel sounds. In modern practice, vowel length is indicated with a macron. Hawaiian language newspapers published from 1834 to 1948 and traditional native speakers of Hawaiian generally omit the marks in their own writing. They, Okina and Kahako are intended to help non-native speakers. The Hawaiian language uses the glottal stop as a consonant. It is written as a symbol similar to the apostrophe or left-hanging single quotation mark. Some residents of Hawaii speak Hawaii. I Creole English, Endini Michael Lee called Pidgin or Pidgin English. The lexicon of HCE derives mainly from English but also uses words that have derived from Hawaiian, Chinese, Japanese, Portuguese, Ilocano and Tagalog. During the 19th century, the increase in immigration mainly from China, Japan, Portugal especially from the Azores and Madeira, and Spain catalyzed the development of a hybrid variant of English known to its speakers as Pidgin. By the early 20th century, Pidgin speakers had children who acquired it as their first language. HCE speakers use some Hawaiian words without those words being considered archaic. Most place names are retained from Hawaiian as are some names for plants and animals. For example, tuna fish is often called by its Hawaiian name, ahi. HCE speakers have modified the meanings of some English words. For example, auntie and uncle may either refer to any adult who is a friend or be used to show respect to an elder. Syntax and grammar follow distinctive rules different from those of general American English. For example, instead of it is hot today, isn't it, an HCE speaker would say simply stay hot, et. The term de kine is used as a filler, a substitute for virtually any word or phrase. During the surfing boom in Hawaii, HCE was influenced by surfer slang. Some HCE expressions, such as bra and de kine, have found their ways elsewhere through surfing communities. Political Changes of 1954 The State of Hawaii
Christianity is the most widespread religion in Hawaii. It is mainly represented by various Protestants, Roman Catholics, and Mormons. Buddhism is the second most popular religion, especially among the archipelago's Japanese community. Unaffiliated account for one quarter of the population. The largest denominations by number of adherents were the Roman Catholic Church with 249,619 adherents in 2010 and the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints with 68,128 adherents in 2009. The third largest religious group includes all non-denominational churches with 128 congregations and 32,000 members. The third largest denominational group is the United Church of Christ, with 115 congregations and 20,000 members. The Southern Baptist Convention has 108 congregations and 18,000 members in Hawaii. Demographics According to data provided by religious establishments, religion in Hawaii in 2000 was distributed as follows. A Pew poll found that the religious composition was as follows. Population Ancestry Note, births in table don't add up, because Hispanics are counted both by their ethnicity and by their race giving a higher overall number. Hawaii has had a long history of queer identities. Maha people, who often traversed gender as defined by Western standards, were a respected group of pre-colonization people who were widely known in society as healers. Another Hawaiian word, ikane, referred to same-sex relationships. According to journals written by Captain Cook's crew, it is widely believed that many Ali I engaged in Ikane relationships. Hawaiian scholar Lily Kala came. Ella Hiwa said, If you didn't sleep with a man, how could you trust him when you went into battle? How would you know if he was going to be the warrior that would protect you at all costs, if he wasn't your lover? A 2012 poll by Gallup found that Hawaii had the largest proportion of lesbian, gay, bisexual and transgender adults in the U.S., at 5.1%, comprising an estimated adult LGBT population of 53,966 individuals. The number of same-sex couple households in 2010 was 3,239 a 35.5% increase of figures from a decade earlier. In 2013, Hawaii became the 15th U.S. state to legalize same-sex marriage, a University of Hawaii researcher said the law may boost tourism by $217 million. Languages Hawaiian Hawaiian Pigeon Religion Birth data LGBT Economy Taxation Cost of living Culture Cuisine Customs and etiquette Hawaiian mythology Polynesian mythology List of state parks Literature the history of Hawaii's economy can be traced through a succession of dominant industries, sandalwood, whaling, sugarcane, pineapple, the military, tourism and education. Since statehood in 1959, tourism has been the largest industry, contributing 24.3% of the gross state product in 1997, despite efforts to diversify. The state's gross output for 2003 was 47 US dollars billion. Per capita income for Hawaii residents in 2014 was 54,516 US dollars. 
Hawaiian exports include food and clothing. These industries play a small role in the Hawaiian economy, due to the shipping distance to viable markets, such as the west coast of the contiguous U.S. The state's food exports include coffee, macadamia nuts, pineapple, livestock, sugarcane, and honey. By weight, honey bees may be the state's most valuable export. According to the Hawaii Agricultural Statistics Service, agricultural sales were US$370.9 million US dollars from diversified agriculture, US$100.6 million US dollars from pineapple, and US$64.3 million US dollars from sugarcane. Hawaii's relatively consistent climate has attracted the seed industry, which is able to test three generations of crops per year on the islands, compared with one or two on the mainland. Seeds yielded US$264 million US dollar in 2012, supporting 1,400 workers. As of December 2015, the state's unemployment rate was 3.2%. In 2009, the United States military spent US$12.2 billion US dollar in Hawaii, accounting for 18% of spending in the state for that year. 75,000 United States Department of Defense personnel live in Hawaii. According to a 2013 study by Phoenix Marketing International, Hawaii had the fourth largest number of millionaires per capita in the United States, with a ratio of 7.2%. Hawaii residents pay the most per person in state taxes in the United States. Millions of tourists pay general excise tax and hotel room tax. The Hawaii Tax Foundation considers the state's tax burden too high which it says contributes to higher prices and the perception of an unfriendly business climate. State Senator Sam Slom says state taxes are comparatively higher than other states because the state government handles education, health care, and social services that are usually handled at a county or municipal level in most other states. The cost of living in Hawaii, specifically Honolulu, is high compared to that of most major U.S. cities, although it is 6.7% lower than in New York City and 3.6% lower than in San Francisco. These numbers may not take into account some costs, such as increased travel costs for flights, additional shipping fees, and the loss of promotional participation opportunities for customers outside the contiguous U.S. While some online stores offer free shipping on orders to Hawaii, many merchants exclude Hawaii, Alaska, Puerto Rico, and certain other U.S. territories. Hawaiian Electric Industries, a privately owned company, provides 95% of the state's population with electricity, mostly from fossil fuel power stations. Average electricity prices in October 2014 were nearly three times the national average and 80% higher than the second highest state, Connecticut. Music The median home value in Hawaii in the 2000 U.S. Census was US$272,700, while the national median home value was 119,600 US dollars. Hawaii home values were the highest of all states, including California with a median home value of 211,500 US dollars. Research from the National Association of Realtors places the 2010 median sale price of a single-family home in Honolulu, Hawaii, at US$607,600 and the U.S. median sales price at US$173,200. The sale price of single-family homes in Hawaii was the highest of any U.S. city in 2010 just above that of the Silicon Valley area of California.
Hawaii's very high cost of living is the result of several interwoven factors of the global economy in addition to domestic U.S. government trade policy. Like other regions with desirable weather throughout the year, such as areas of California, Arizona, and Florida, Hawaii's residents can be considered to be subject to a sunshine tax. This situation is further exacerbated by the natural factors of geography and world distribution that lead to higher prices for goods due to increased shipping costs, a problem which many island states and territories suffer from as well. The situation is compounded even further by what could possibly be the single largest contributor to the high costs of living in Hawaii, a U.S. trade law known as the Jones Act or the Merchant Marine Act of 1920. This trade regulation prohibits any foreign flagged ships from carrying cargo between two American ports a practice known as cabotage. Most consumer goods in the United States are manufactured by outsourced labor in East Asia, then transported by container ships to ports on the U.S. mainland, and Hawaii also receives the same goods. Being located in the central Pacific Ocean, right between major Pacific shipping lanes, it would be very economical to unload Hawaiian-bound goods in Honolulu, before continuing on to the mainland. However, this would effectively make the second leg of the voyage between Hawaii and the mainland a domestic route between two American ports. Because most large cargo ships operate under foreign flags of convenience such as Liberia, Vanuatu, or Papua New Guinea, allowing them to avoid the more stringent, and thus more costly, regulations of developed nations' ports, the domestic leg of the voyage would be disallowed by the Jones Act. Instead, those cargo ships must proceed directly to the west coast where distributors break bulk and transport the Hawaiian-bound, Asian-manufactured goods back across the ocean by U.S. flagged ships and increasing the length of the voyage by more than 50%. This highly inefficient system of shipping Hawaii's consumer cargo comes at a very hefty price for the average Hawaiian citizen, and makes the cost of living in Hawaii much, much higher than it would otherwise be. Hawaiian consumers ultimately bear the expense of transporting goods imposed by the Jones Act. This law makes Hawaii less competitive than West Coast ports as a shopping destination for tourists from countries with much higher taxes like Japan, even though prices for Asian manufactured goods should be cheaper because Hawaii is much closer than mainland states to Asia. Sports the aboriginal culture of Hawaii is Polynesian. Hawaii represents the northernmost extension of the vast Polynesian Triangle of the South and Central Pacific Ocean. While traditional Hawaiian culture remains as vestiges in modern Hawaiian society, there are reenactments of the ceremonies and traditions throughout the islands. Some of these cultural influences, including the popularity of Lu, O and Hula, are strong enough to affect the wider United States. The cuisine of Hawaii is a fusion of many foods brought by immigrants to the Hawaiian Islands, including the earliest Polynesians and native Hawaiian cuisine, and American, Chinese, Filipino, Japanese, Korean, Polynesian and Portuguese origins. Plant and animal food sources are imported from around the world for agricultural use in Hawaii. Poi, a starch made by pounding taro, is one of the traditional foods of the islands. Many local restaurants serve the ubiquitous plate lunch, which features two scoops of rice, a simplified version of American macaroni salad and a variety of toppings including hamburger patties, a fried egg, and gravy of a loco moco, Japanese-style tonkatsu or the traditional lu. O favorites, including kalua pork and lalao.
Spam Musubi is an example of the fusion of ethnic cuisine that developed on the islands among the mix of immigrant groups and military personnel. In the 1990s, a group of chefs developed Hawaii regional cuisine as a contemporary fusion cuisine. Tourism Some key customs and etiquette in Hawaii are as follows, when visiting a home, it is considered good manners to bring a small gift for one's host. Thus, parties are usually in the form of potlucks. Most locals take their shoes off before entering a home. It is customary for Hawaiian families, regardless of ethnicity, to hold a luau to celebrate a child's first birthday. It is also customary at Hawaiian weddings especially at Filipino weddings, for the bride and groom to do a money dance. Print media and local residents recommend that one refer to non-Hawaiians as locals of Hawaii or people of Hawaii. Hawaiian mythology comprises the legends, historical tales, and sayings of the ancient Hawaiian people. It is considered a variant of a more general Polynesian mythology that developed a unique character for several centuries before circa 1800. It is associated with the Hawaiian religion, which was officially suppressed in the 19th century but was kept alive by some practitioners to the modern day. Prominent figures and terms include Aumakua, the spirit of an ancestor or family god and Cain the highest of the four major Hawaiian deities. Health Polynesian mythology is the oral traditions of the people of Polynesia, a grouping of Central and South Pacific Ocean Island archipelagos in the Polynesian Triangle together with the scattered cultures known as the Polynesian Outliers. Polynesians speak languages that descend from a language reconstructed as Proto-Polynesian that was probably spoken in the area around Tonga and Samoa in around 1000 BCE. Prior to the 15th century, Polynesian people migrated east to the Cook Islands, and from there to other island groups such as Tahiti and the Marquesas. Their descendants later discovered the islands Tahiti, Rapa Nui, and later the Hawaiian Islands and New Zealand. The Polynesian languages are part of the Austronesian language family. Many are close enough in terms of vocabulary and grammar to be mutually intelligible. There are also substantial cultural similarities between the various groups especially in terms of social organization, child-rearing, horticulture, building, and textile technologies. Their mythologies in particular demonstrate local reworkings of commonly shared tales. The Polynesian cultures each have distinct but related oral traditions, legends or myths are traditionally considered to recount ancient history and the adventures of gods and deified ancestors. There are many Hawaiian state parks. Education The literature of Hawaii is diverse and includes authors Kiana Davenport, Lois Ann Yamanaka, and Koei Hart Hemmings. Hawaiian magazines include Hanaho, Hawaii Business Magazine and Honolulu, among others. The music of Hawaii includes traditional and popular styles ranging from native Hawaiian folk music to modern rock and hip-hop. Hawaii's musical contributions to the music of the United States are out of proportion to the state's small size. Styles such as slack key guitar are well known worldwide, while Hawaiian-tinged music is a frequent part of Hollywood soundtracks. Hawaii also made a major contribution to country music with the introduction of the steel guitar. Public Schools Traditional Hawaiian folk music is a major part of the state's musical heritage. The Hawaiian people have inhabited the islands for centuries and have retained much of their traditional musical knowledge. Their music is largely religious in nature and includes chanting and dance music. 
Hawaiian music has had an enormous impact on the music of other Polynesian islands, according to Peter Manuel, the influence of Hawaiian music a unifying factor in the development of modern Pacific musics. Native Hawaiian musician and Hawaiian sovereignty activist Israel Kamekaiwo, OLE, famous for his medley of Somewhere Over the Rainbow slash What a Wonderful World, was named the Voice of Hawaii by NPR in 2010 in its 50 Great Voices series. Private Schools Surfing has been a central part of Polynesian culture for centuries. Since the late 19th century, Hawaii has become a major site for surfists from around the world. Notable competitions include the Triple Crown of Surfing and the Eddy. Colleges and Universities The only NCAA Division I team in Hawaii is the Hawaii Rainbow Warriors and Rainbow Wahine, which competes at the Big West Conference. Mountain West Conference and Mountain Pacific Sports Federation. There are three teams in NCAA Division II, Chaminade Silver Swords, Hawaii Pacific Sharks and Hawaii Hilo Vulcans, all of which compete at the Pacific West Conference. Punanaleo Transportation Rail Governance Notable college sports events in Hawaii include the Maui Invitational Tournament, Diamond Head Classic and Hawaii Bowl. Political Subdivisions and Local Government Notable professional teams include the Hawaiians, which played at the World Football League in 1974 and 1975, the Hawaii Icelanders, a triple-A minor league baseball team that played at the Pacific Coast League from 1961 to 1987, and Team Hawaii, a North American soccer league team that played in 1977. State Government Federal Government Politics Legal Status of Hawaii Hawaiian Sovereignty Movement Gallery of Satellite Views and Landmarks Notes Hawaii has hosted the Sony Open in Hawaii Golf Tournament since 1965, the Tournament of Champions Golf Tournament since 1999, the Lottie Championship Golf Tournament since 2012, the Honolulu Marathon since 1973, the Ironman World Championship Triathlon Race since 1978, the Ultraman Triathlon since 1983, the National Football League S Pro Bowl from 1980 to 2016, the 2000 FINA World Open Water Swimming Championships, and the 2008 Pan Pacific Championship and 2012 Hawaiian Islands Invitational. Soccer Tournaments Tourism is an important part of the Hawaiian economy. In 2003, according to state government data, there were over 6.4 million visitors, with expenditures of over $10 billion, to the Hawaiian Islands. Due to the mild year-round weather, tourist travel is popular throughout the year. The major holidays are the most popular times for outsiders to visit especially in the winter months. Substantial numbers of Japanese tourists still visit the islands but have now been surpassed by Chinese and Koreans due to the collapse of the value of the yen and the weak Japanese economy. The average Japanese stays only 5 days while other Asians spend over 9.5 days and spend 25% more. Hawaii hosts numerous cultural events. The annual Merry Monarch Festival is an international hula competition. The Hawaii International Film Festival is the premier film festival for Pacific Rim cinema. Honolulu hosts the state's long-running LGBT film festival, the Rainbow Film Festival. Bibliography As of 2009, 
Hawaii's health care system ensures 92% of residents. Under the state's plan, businesses are required to provide insurance to employees who work more than 20 hours per week. Heavy regulation of insurance companies helps reduce the cost to employers. Due in part to heavy emphasis on preventive care, Hawaiians require hospital treatment less frequently than the rest of the United States, while total health care expenses measured as a percentage of state GDP are substantially lower. Proponents of universal health care elsewhere in the U.S. sometimes use Hawaii as a model for proposed federal and state health care plans. Hawaii has the only school system within the U.S. that is unified statewide. Policy decisions are made by the 14-member State Board of Education, which sets policy and hires the Superintendent of Schools, who oversees the State Department of Education. The Department of Education is divided into seven districts, four on O, Ahu and one for each of the other three counties. The main rationale for centralization is to combat inequalities between highly populated O, Ahu and the more rural neighbor islands, and between lower income and more affluent areas. Public elementary Middle and high school test scores in Hawaii are below national averages on tests mandated under the No Child Left Behind Act. The Hawaii Board of Education requires all eligible students to take these tests and report all student test scores. This may have unbalanced the results that reported in August 2005 that of 282 schools across the state. 185 failed to reach federal minimum performance standards in mathematics and reading. The ACT College placement tests show that in 2005, seniors scored slightly above the national average, but in the widely accepted SAT examinations, Hawaii's college-bound seniors tend to score below the national average in all categories except mathematics. Hawaii has the highest rates of private school attendance in the nation. During the 2011-2012 school year, Hawaii public and charter schools had an enrollment of 181,213, while private schools had 37,695. Private schools educated over 17% of students in Hawaii that school year nearly three times the approximate national average of 6%. It has four of the largest independent schools. Iolani School, Kamehameha Schools, Mid-Pacific Institute, and Punahou School. Pacific Buddhist Academy, the second Buddhist high school in the U.S. and first such school in Hawaii, was founded in 2003. The first native-controlled public charter school was the Kanu Okaena New Century Charter School. Independent and charter schools can select their students, while the public schools are open to all students in their district. The Kamehameha schools are the only schools in the U.S. that openly grant admission to students based on ancestry, collectively, they are one of the wealthiest schools in the United States if not the world, having over 11 billion U.S. dollars in estate assets. In 2005, Kamehameha enrolled 5,398 students, 8.4% of the native Hawaiian children in the state. Graduates of secondary schools in Hawaii often enter directly into the workforce. Some attend colleges and universities on the mainland or other countries, and the rest attend an institution of higher learning in Hawaii. The largest is the University of Hawaii system, which consists of the Research University at Manoa, two comprehensive campuses at Hilo and West O, Ahu, and seven community colleges. Private universities include Brigham Young University Hawaii, Chaminade University of Honolulu, Hawaii Pacific University, 
and Wayland Baptist University. St. Stephen Diocesan Center is a seminary of the Roman Catholic Diocese of Honolulu. Kona hosts the University of the Nations, which is not an accredited university. First opened in 1984 illegally in Keikaha, Kauai, the Punanaleo or Language Nest were the first indigenous language immersion schools in the United States. Modeled after the Maori language Kohangareo of New Zealand, they provide preschool-aged children the opportunity to engage in early education through a Hawaiian language medium, generally taught by elders. Graduates from the Punana Leo schools have achieved several measures of academic success in later life. As of 2006, there were a total of 11 Punana Leo preschools, with locations on five of the islands. A system of state highways encircles each main island. Only O. Ahu has federal highways, and is the only area outside the contiguous 48 states to have signed interstate highways. Narrow, winding roads and congestion in populated places can slow traffic. Each major island has a public bus system. Honolulu International Airport which shares runways with the adjacent Hickam Field, is the major commercial aviation hub of Hawaii. The Commercial Aviation Airport offers intercontinental service to North America, Asia, Australia, and Oceania. Hawaiian Airlines, Mokulele Airlines, and Go! use jets to provide services between the large airports in Honolulu, Lihu, E. Kahului, Kona, and Hilo. Island Air and Pacific Wings serve smaller airports. These airlines also provide air freight services between the islands. On May 30, 2017, the airport was officially renamed as the Daniel K. Inouye International Airport, after U.S. Senator Daniel K. Inouye. Until air passenger services began in the 1920s, private boats were the sole means of traveling between the islands. Sea flight operated hydrofoils between the major islands in the mid-1970s. The Hawaii Superferry operated between O. Ahu and Maui between December 2007 and March 2009, with additional routes planned for other islands. Protests and legal problems over environmental impact statements ended the service, though the company operating Super Ferry has expressed a wish to recommence ferry services in the future. Currently there is a passenger ferry service in Maui County between Lana I and Maui, which does not take vehicles, a passenger ferry to Molokai ended in 2016. Currently Norwegian Cruise Lines and Princess Cruises provide passenger cruise ship services between the larger islands. At one time Hawaii had a network of railroads on each of the larger islands that transported farm commodities and passengers. Most were 3 feet narrow gauge systems but there were some 2 feet 6 in gauge on some of the smaller islands. The standard gauge in the U.S. is 4 feet 8 1 slash 2 inches. By far the largest railroad was the Oahu Railway and Land Company that ran lines from Honolulu across the western and northern part of Oahu. The ORNL was important for moving troops and goods during World War II. Traffic on this line was busy enough for signals to be used to facilitate movement of trains and to require wigwag signals at some railroad crossings for the protection of motorists. The main line was officially abandoned in 1947, although part of it was bought by the U.S. Navy and operated until 1970. Thirteen miles of track remain. Preservationists occasionally run trains over a portion of this line. The Honolulu High Capacity Transit Corridor Project aims to add elevated passenger rail on Oahu to relieve highway congestion.
the movement of the Hawaiian royal family from Hawaii, I Island to Maui, and subsequently to O. Ahu, explains the modern-day distribution of population centers. Kamehameha III chose the largest city, Honolulu, as his capital because of its natural harbor the present-day Honolulu Harbor. Now the state capital, Honolulu is located along the southeast coast of O. Ahu. The previous capital was Lahaina, Maui, and before that Kailua-Kona, Hawaii. I. Some major towns are Hilo, Kane, Ohe, Kailua, Pearl City, Waipahu, Kahului, Kailua-Kona, Kihei, and Lihu. E. Hawaii comprises five counties the city and county of Honolulu, Hawaii County, Maui County, Kauai County, and Kalawau County. Hawaii has the fewest local governments among U.S. states. Unique to this state is the lack of municipal governments. All local governments are generally administered at the county level. The only incorporated area in the state is Honolulu County, a consolidated city-county that governs the entire island of Oahu. County executives are referred to as mayors, these are the mayor of Hawaii County, mayor of Honolulu, mayor of Koa, I, and the mayor of Maui. The mayors are all elected in nonpartisan elections. Kalawau County has no elected government, and as mentioned above there are no local school districts and instead all local public education is administered at the state level by the Hawaii Department of Education. The remaining local governments are special districts. The state government of Hawaii is modeled after the federal government with adaptations originating from the Kingdom era of Hawaiian history. As codified in the Constitution of Hawaii, there are three branches of government, executive, legislative and judicial. The executive branch is led by the governor of Hawaii, who is assisted by the lieutenant governor of Hawaii, both of whom are elected on the same ticket. The governor is the only state public official elected statewide, all others are appointed by the governor. The lieutenant governor acts as the secretary of state. The governor and lieutenant governor oversee 20 agencies and departments from offices in the state capital. The official residence of the governor is Washington Place. The legislative branch consists of the bicameral Hawaii State Legislature, which is composed of the 51-member Hawaii House of Representatives led by the Speaker of the House, and the 25-member Hawaii Senate led by the President of the Senate. The legislature meets at the state capitol. The unified judicial branch of Hawaii is the Hawaii State Judiciary. The state's highest court is the Supreme Court of Hawaii, which uses Ali. Iolani Hale as its chambers. Hawaii is represented in the United States Congress by two senators and two representatives. As of 2016, all four seats are held by Democrats. Colleen Hanabusa won a special election for the 1st Congressional District representing southeastern Oahu, including central Honolulu, on November 8, 2016 to finish the term of Rep. Mark Takai who died July 20, 2016. Tulsi Gabbard represents the 2nd Congressional District representing the rest of the state, which is largely rural and semi-rural. Brian Schatz is the senior United States Senator from Hawaii. He was appointed to the office on December 26, 2012, by Governor Neil Abercrombie, following the death of former Senator Daniel Inouye. The state's junior senator is Maisie Hirano, the former representative from the 2nd Congressional District. 
Hirano is the first female Asian American senator and the first Buddhist senator. Hawaii incurred the biggest seniority shift between the 112th and 113th Congresses. The state went from a delegation consisting of senators who were first and 21st in seniority to their respective replacements, relative newcomers Schatz and Hirano. Federal officials in Hawaii are based at the Prince Kuhio Federal Building near the Aloha Tower and Honolulu Harbor. The Federal Bureau of Investigation, Internal Revenue Service and the Secret Service maintain their offices there. The building is also the site of the Federal District Court for the District of Hawaii and the United States Attorney for the District of Hawaii. Since gaining statehood and participating in its first election in 1960, Hawaii has supported Democrats in all but two presidential elections, 1972 and 1984, both of which were landslide victories for Republicans Richard Nixon and Ronald Reagan respectively. In Hawaii's statehood tenure, only Minnesota has supported Republican candidates fewer times in presidential elections. Hawaii hasn't elected a Republican to represent the state in the U.S. Senate since Hiram Fong in 1970, since 1977, both of the state's U.S. Senators have been Democrats. In 2004, John Kerry won the state's four electoral votes by a margin of 9 percentage points with 54 percent of the vote. Every county supported the Democratic candidate. In 1964, favorite son candidate Senator Hiram Fong of Hawaii sought the Republican presidential nomination, while Patsy Mink ran in the Oregon primary in 1972. Honolulu-born Barack Obama, then serving as United States Senator from Illinois, was elected the 44th President of the United States on November 4, 2008 and was re-elected for a second term on November 6, 2012. Obama had won the Hawaii Democratic Caucus on February 19, 2008, with 76 percent of the vote. He was the third Hawaii-born candidate to seek the nomination of a major party and the first presidential nominee from Hawaii. While Hawaii is internationally recognized as a state of the United States while also being broadly accepted as such in mainstream understanding, the legality of this status has been raised in U.S. District Court, the U.N., and other international forums. Domestically, the debate is a topic covered in the Kamehameha School's curriculum, and in classes at the University of Hawaii, I at Manoa. On September 29, 2015 the Department of the Interior announced a procedure to recognize a native Hawaiian government. Political organizations seeking some form of sovereignty for Hawaii have been active since the 1880s. Generally. Their focus is on self-determination and self-governance, either for Hawaii as an independent nation, or for people of whole or part native Hawaiian ancestry in an indigenous nation-to-nation -nation relationship akin to tribal sovereignty with U.S. federal recognition of native Hawaiians. A 2005 Grassroot Institute poll found the majority of Hawaiian residents opposed the Akaka Bill. The Hawaiian Sovereignty Movement views the overthrow of the Kingdom of Hawaii in 1893 as illegal, and views the subsequent annexation of Hawaii by the United States as illegal. The movement seeks some form of greater autonomy for Hawaii, such as free association or independence from the United States. Some groups also advocate some form of redress from the United States for the 1893 overthrow of Queen Lily, Yuakalani, and for what is described as a prolonged military occupation beginning with the 1898 annexation. 
The apology resolution passed by U.S. Congress in 1993 is cited as a major impetus by the movement for Hawaiian sovereignty. The sovereignty movement considers Hawaii to be an illegally occupied nation.